Brownie, you've got the runway now ready to launch yes. on your Brisbane lines. We know they've got, they've you gone to work. He's there to lose. Of course he does. He's there to lose. about Brisbane more than anyone I know. It's went, in his contract. <laughs> yeah, I, I, went up, never I went up to watch the boys train uh, pre-Christmas and uh, I was, geez, I sat back and I, I was really impressed with by what? With what? The midfield, the upgrade in the midfield for me. So that's a big error. To me, they've been bullied in finals over the last three or four years in a final, whatever. Now, yes, they made the finals four years in a row, but they haven't been able to go with the big boys when the whips mm. are cracking. I look out there at training, I see Dunkley patrolling the field. He's obviously a physical presence. I see a Lockie Neal that's super fit, and I see Will Ashcroft, who looks like he's played 200 games already. He's out there commanding, giving orders, running around. He just he's knows where the fishing. ball is. He knows young. where the ball That's is. That's all he does. He's so great. their midfield is upgraded. Jared Berry hopefully will be healthy. We know Hugh McCluggage is a star. Oscar McInerney's got a bit of mongrel in him. So I was excited by what I saw. And obviously secondary to that, I think the Gunston inclusion is going to be very massive, good. Massive. Change the balance of their forward line from having too many big left footers there. So I'm actually positive when I can be critical and... Um, I get frustrated with the lines, but I suppose that's just because I've got the passion you know, for them. You know what they're doing at the back? They, they, they think that they, were, they weren't moving the ball and running the ball out of the back half as, as good as the other teams. So this year they're going to ask Stasevich to play taller, play bigger, yeah. maybe take the secondary, play Harris Andrews and play some, some quicker players. Maybe it's the Irishman. Well, I think, you know, I think, I think uh, Kitty, Kitty Coleman yeah. could be all Australian this mm. year. I think he's an amazing young Behind player. the foot, he's a big area. And Absolutely. so Daniel Rich is a great kick, but he's not, he doesn't move, yeah. he doesn't run as much. So that's an area that the, the Lions want to fix. But you're talking about those finals. It's got to come down to moments. I know we talk about mm. that a lot. The moments arrive and they've, they've failed at the last hurdle, the second last hurdle. Why is that? Yep. And when they fail, they fail badly. Mm. Is it they run out of fitness? No. What is it? What, 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 what gets in there? There's so, a certain so. thing of history that creeps into their mindset is the only way that I can put it. I think physically and in terms of their talent, they are well placed as well as any other side of the competition. Yeah, it, it is how they deal with the back end of the season, mentally and physically, what you, what you mentioned before. No. Do, they, do they have it in between the ears and in between the ears? And do they have the ability to play outside themselves physically? when the game gets really hard, and that's mainly when finals so, come So around. When, when a Patrick Dangerfield or a Luke Parker, uh, one of those big midfielders, flexes their muscles late in September, the Lions mids have got to be able to go with them. And the other one is Hello, Harris George. Andrews, inspired choices, Captain. I think Harris Andrews has returned to being the elite... He's been carrying key a knee injury. In the competition. Absolutely. He's been carrying a knee injury He will for get that back long. to, I think, being the premier key defender no. at the end of this season. And no, the, none of that's the massive. the forwards that have been a bit erratic and unreliable in, in Eric Hipwood and yeah. Jerry Danaher, having Four. Jack beside them, it, Jack Gunston, who we know is uh, such be a like coach professional. Yeah. It'd, be, it'd be really, really interesting, Jack, because when he was at Hawthorne in his last couple of years, he was the focal point. Now, they've been kicking to Jay Danaher and Eric Hipwood for a long, long time. So, actually, Jack has to fit into maybe being second and third lookout, but he's such a class player. He's got like, great craft. As he's an, but like, and he makes compare sense, his craft as a forward yeah. to Nathan Fife's craft as a forward. Mm. Jack's been doing it for, you know, 12 years. Absolutely. He's a hell of a pickup. Yeah. All right, let's predict where they are going to finish, and I'm thinking it's going to be right near the top. Second for me. Jonathan? Uh, well, actually, I've got them top four there, but I've got them top two. So yeah. I, I think a big mental hurdle was winning a final at the MCG, which Massive. they did last year against Melbourne. I think that'll yep. give them that, tremendous were, confidence. When you were talking about that, that's yep. what I was thinking. Yep. They built that up yep. to win that game at the MCG. So they're not hiding from the fact, yep. but they've got to do it. Yep. Top, top four, and that then gives them a second chance. They, yep. they need, for me, they need that second chance. Oh. If they have to go away week one... They need that, that security blanket. You've got blanket. an if. You've got a big, a little bit of an if. Top four. Brisbane. Top four.